Good morning everyone. Right, um, just before I do, I am going to do the tutorial now on the butterflies that I was making yesterday. Now, before I do that, I have to give a message to somebody. Now, <coughs> it's Kimberly, and that's Beryl Kim 37 Right, Beryl, I have emailed you, sweetheart, and um, I've got, I can't, I don't know where the information is at all. I've been right through my inbox, I've been right through my outbox, and um, Beryl sent me, oh sorry not Beryl, um, Kimberly sent me a parcel. I've looked for the video on that parcel. It's a swap we were doing. Uh, she wanted some die cuts. I cannot find the information anywhere, uh, Kimberly. So what I've asked you to do is to give me your details again. If you know where the link is to the video, because I mean there's over a thousand videos, sweetheart. So it's re and I've looked, I've put, typed everything in to try and find it. Swap, rack, parcel, uh, Kimberly. I've put your YouTube name in, and nothing's coming up for you. So I can't understand why, if I've done a swap or a rack or whatever, why I've not done the video because I do a video on every parcel that comes in or anything that I buy. So I need what I need the the video for is to see if I've on that video promised you anything in return in your swap um, I want to make sure you get it that's why I'm asking you for a link if you can find the video where I've that I've done I can't find it anywhere amongst the thousand it's 1200 videos that I've done but I might have named it something else and I can't remember sweetheart because my memory is like a sieve and people know that about me now I know you're concerned over the parcel I will be sending, the, all the parcels that I've got left to send are going out this week. So I will be sending it. But, just remind me of your details. Remind me of the video so that I can check on the video and make sure that whatever I've promised you goes in that parcel. I do have parcels, you know, um, that I've got in boxes and I just add and add and add and add and add. But, because I can't find your details and I can't find anything on the swap we've done, I need to know... What, just tell me and remind me what you sent me. I can't find even a box or a parcel or an envelope with your name on so that it'll really jog my memory or anything like that. I can't do anything but apologise. But yes, I will be sending your parcel out uh, this week. Just just jog my memory, sweetheart. Just give me the link if you've got it. I can't find it anywhere. If anybody else does a search for it or remembers it or anything like that, her name is Kimberly. Her YouTube name is Beryl Kim 37 and it has to be, by the sounds of it, by her email, uh, by your email, Kimberly, it has to be a, re a more recent one, but I can't find any information on it. Now, I'm hoping that I haven't got your parcel somewhere, but my room is, you know, chock a block with all sorts, with what little space I've got. Um, and sometimes I do put parcels to one side to film later. And I might have misplaced it. I can't remember. You need to let me know what you sent me. And then I will then... Um, it'll either jog my memory. Um, or I will be able to sort your parcel out sooner. So please, please, just bear with me, sweetheart. I know you're upset that it's not come. Uh, and then I've not sent it yet. But, you know, I've... <laughs> From all the parcels, the racks, the swaps, and everything I do, all the tu tu tutorials, and and dealing with over 1,200 people, I get a bit muddled sometimes, sweetheart. <laughs> and there's no harm, and everybody knows from me, they will eventually get what I say I'm going to give. And um, so far, I've never, ever had a complaint on a parcel. Well, that's a lie, actually, because I did once, but it was because it was part two parcel. I, I was sending two parcels out, and I, she only got one. But there you go. She got the other one in the end, and everything was sorted. So I'm asking you to help me to either find the video or to let me know what you sent me, and then I can deal with it now this week and sort it out right this week for you. Let's get on with the tutorial. And I do, do apologise. I mean, you know... I'm really sorry. I can't do anything other than that, apart from let's sort this out and get it organised and uh, let's get you happy again. Right, so what I'm going to do is you need um, petals. I'm using the paper petals at the moment. Now you can use these for the butterflies, which are the five petal one, or you can use... Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. I did have some more. 
or you can use these which are the eight petal ones I mean actually you can use any as long as you can you, you need to have four two on one side two on the other so for now I'm just going to do these and what you do is you snip and make sure you can see what I'm doing yes <coughs> excuse me and anybody else that's waiting for parcels I've got a pile in there there's loads gone out and there's loads more going out today tomorrow and Saturday so please just bear with me I know it's frustrating I know it's you know oh, oh where's my parcel but I I'm not like some people I have a huge huge following and I deal and I try and answer as many as possible I, uh, messages I um, do as many swaps as I possibly can um, when people send me a rack, I do try and get a parcel back to them as soon as possible. Sometimes it's a long, long time later because I have so much to do. I also have done um, uh, giveaways. Um, what else have I done? Let me see. Oh, competitions and that. All these parcels, uh, you know, I'm catching up with them. Um, but I'm not made of money. <laughs> Um, I have had a shop to do as well, and I've completed the book this week, ladies. It's gone. It's finished. It's j just gone to the publishers. It should be back with uh, me, with um, or the proof copy should be back with me sometime next week. And then, so say within a week to two weeks, that book will be available. Yeah, I've finished it. It's gone. Done. Thank God for that. And uh, I'm thrilled to bits with it. So I have a lot on my plate that I'm trying to get out. And I'll do my best to get it sorted ASAP. Get back to these. Here's the butterflies, as you can see. And I put two layers on because it's nice uh, for two layers. Keep these little bits that you cut off. And what I do with those is I add them to the wing. And just as though you were, you know, I place that in between, in between the two petals on the right. And then I'll place the other one that I've cut off of the second flower in between that. Right, let's get back. So what I've done is I've placed the single petal that I cut off in between the two end ones. And then it's gone quite stiff. Um, these are really, really nice flowers to work with. And, and what I'm going to do now is to paint that. And so what I've got is just some glibber mist that I've, I've um, mixed and just start painting it. Um, I'll leave the film running and it, you know, for a, a minute or two so you can see what I'm doing. This is like a gold, gold shimmer. And goes on pretty well. Beautiful gold shimmer on that. It's just mixing several of the cosmic shimmers together. Um, I watched Ali Dantry's uh, video last night on the sh cosmic shimmers, and um, I, I I have had a couple of bottles where they've um, not sprayed and they've got clogged up, and that's for me. I can only say for my own personal use because I use these shimmers all the time, but um, when I've used them and not cleaned them and then left them. <coughs> excuse me, then yes, I have had a couple of bottles that are um, clogged. And they are easy to clean and uh, put right. So, um, but it doesn't happen, it's not happened to me often and I use them all the time. So I can't say whether it's a, a problem with the cosmics. It's generally because, um, you know, if I don't clean them afterwards when I've used them, then uh, I will get a clog in. But I don't want that to put anybody off from buying them because these are some of the best um, glimmer mists. And even those that have clogged, uh, I've had one that's not. I've not been able to unclog. It needs soaking, to be honest, in hot water. The cap it needs taking apart and soaking, and I've not got round to doing it just yet. But uh, I, all I do. Before I open the bottle um, to use it, is just to give it a, a good. I don't shake it. You should never really shake them. Do that like in your hands, like I do. You've seen me do it many times, and um, and then what I do is I just 
open the bottle up, pour it in a little container and brush it on. It's just exactly the same. You get the same effect. It's no different. Um, I don't let something like a little bit of clogging bother me whatsoever. Colour is colour, no matter how it's applied. You know, if you're going to get that look that you're after, it doesn't matter how you apply it. I'm not going to certainly waste a bottle because it's uh, got a bit of, you know, a clog. And I've used all different types of um, glimmer mists um, and I still prefer these out of all of them so there we go that's all painted up like that and then all I'm going to do with that is to dry it Like that. And then what I've done is I've got some of the oops, some of these little um, the, these little flowers, and um, so I've taken the middle petal off, and I'm now just going to apply that to the middle, like that. And I'm going to take one of these little flowers. and apply that very carefully to the middle of that look at that isn't that pretty isn't that stunning and then all I've got to do is to do the um, antennae and to do that I just cut about two inches of wire bend it in the middle about the same size, bend it over once, like that. Take the flat pliers and just do that, like that. Turn that upside down and leave that on there. Like that, and then you can stick a double sided sticky pad on um, if you're going to stick it onto a project or stick it straight on as it is. Um, make sure that's stuck like that, and there you go, and they're absolutely gorgeous. What I do then is this is the Stardust Stickles, I absolutely love this one. Although I like making my own, I do like using this one as well. Um, it's just where the ridge of the, you know, the groove of the flower is. Can we just to put some stickles to glam it up a little bit? And it makes it look stunning. Okay. And there you go. Isn't that fabulous? So, uh, you can also, like I say, do that with, um, you can do it with this flower if I can get fine two, here's two, two the same, two, four, six, yeah, this is the eight petal, so I'll just show you this one, see if I've got time, mm. right, what I've done is I've just started to do this one, now I'm just leaving this one white, because I'm going to do the edge, Um what I was going to do there? Oh, do do the middle. I was going to put some uh, 
little pearl in there like that and then like I say just get hold of the wire big make sure they're flat and these are so easy to make let's flatten that just there a little on the back dry like that seeing they're like that and then um, I think what I'm going to do with that one is if I can find the candy pink there we are that's how I do it just do that and it, it just gets rid of all that if you listen they do have a bead inside them already. All of them do. You don't need to put anything else in it. It's just getting them to loosen up if you've not used them for a while. You can hear that. They've all got them. Right, and then like I say, all I'm going to do with this is just to... You can't hear the bead inside them if they're already, um, the mica's still at the bottom. You have to loosen the mica to get the bead to mix it. So. I'm not spraying it because I've already done this. And to be quite honest, brushing it on, you don't waste as much um, as you do with spraying it. So I can't stand seeing people spray, 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 and I see the waste in the bottom, and I go, "Ah, my God, what are you doing?" Although I do spray myself, I'm just messing about. But you, you do see a lot of people spray, spray, spraying. There's an actual way of um, holding and the pressure that you put on the lid, it, on the cap, um, to stop so much coming out and wasting it. You just do it a certain a way. If you press too hard, you actually lose more than what you need to. Like I say, I've now coloured it how I want it, and just put some of it, some of this down the grooves. Ray's just gone to post the next lot of parcels out. Over the last six months, the parcel that I send out has grown a lot. Um, but I am slowing down on the swaps because I've got the book to think about that's going to be coming out monthly. Um, I've got the shop now to concentrate on. Um, and so I think I'm just going to stick to doing racks and gifts, you know, uh, just things like that from now on because it's too too much for me 
I don't have an assistant. I, I do need one. I'll tell you that now. I really do. With all the paperwork that has to be done, I keep a track of everything. This is why I can't understand when somebody's got one that's gone astray. It's it's normally because I've had... Well, it doesn't normally go astray. But there you go. That's another one finished. And they are very, very pretty. Um, so, like I say, just... Uh, if anybody finds a video, let me know. Um, I'll give you a name again, which is Kimberly Beryl Kim 37. Beryl Kim 37. I do know that you wanted um, uh, the only email that I found you wanted a uh, or you inquired about um, a big kit, 35 pound kit. Sorry, 25 pound, but 35 pound with shipping and um, I've no email to say whether you wanted that still or not so I'm not sure if you um, have got mistaken I don't know because you also if you remember on the last email you sent me the other the other day that um, you were saying about me and you doing a swap um, on it I'm not sure somebody's site is it a, uh, the beach something or other um, and I'm not into anything. I don't swap them type of swaps. I don't do them. So I know it's not me that you, and you got me ma mistaken with somebody else. So we'll find out what's what. Anyway, that's it. Um, that's how you do them. Just show you them again. Oh, well, I'll just show you some of these that I did yesterday. Um, by the way, girls, this is the new flower. This is what I call the sea urchin flower. That's my new one. I've done these before. These are like the little days, um, um, chrysanthemums or whatever they are. I did do the purple, uh, this purple, the um, glass one again, using that colour and the silk flowers. Um, these are little tiny butterflies. Again, you see, right? Um, like I say, I love this one, the teal one, absolutely stunning. Uh, this one I did make the little uh, wiry bits to go on it myself to bling it up a bit more. This is the colour that I made up myself as well. Again, that's uh, another colour that I've done myself. That's the colour I've made myself. This was, like I said, using the dobbers. Beautiful colours. Again, just putting a little bit of a um, wire in there as well and then that one use it that was the five petal one there were the eight petal ones this was paper that was um, fabric so there you go hope you try them enjoy them and um, you can put anything feathers with them laces with them you could attach them onto something else you know that could go in the middle of a bigger flower whatever have fun I'll speak to you soon